Tonight is the uh, pink moon, they call it. Um, it looks a little bit pink. This is the night when the moon is closest, when it's full of the whole year. Last month it was pretty close, but tonight it's even closer. Um, the pink moon, uh, it's called because of type of uh, moss and flowers that grow at this time of year and sometimes create a haze over the ground in which people live. And, um, but I don't know if there's any other real connection, but it, that it looks that way. Look how bright it is. It's even brighter than the medical center down below. Usually it's not this bright in my neighborhood. That's the uh, Veterans Administration building where uh, someone passed of COVID-19 over the weekend. It's a very serious time. Um, we're in, it's, uh, this moon is also called the Paschal moon, Paschal moon. Uh, because of course it's used to plan um, the Passover, which is this week. Uh, we're in the middle of Holy Week. Holy Week is a special time uh, for Christians, but it's even more special for um, those celebrating Passover who are Jews. Um, this moon, uh, the Paschal moon, uh, is the one that people use in on Thursday night to celebrate with a Passover feast. Uh, we did that in Oman once. And uh, the Passover feast is just uh, one way we celebrate the uh, remembrance of Jesus dying for us. We're in the middle of a COVID-19 uh, pandemic here on earth so we could really use any miracles and if things like this uh, provide miracles we're all in for it um, again this is the pink or paschal moon it has both names this particular one this year and it's the closest the moon is to the earth when it's full so it looks bigger than usual um, Interestingly, Kenzie and my daughter told me tonight that on May 23rd, the Earth is going to witness um, another amazing comet. It's big or bigger than the, a comet called Halley's, and it will be on May 23rd. So we'll be back here on May 23rd looking at this miraculous uh, outer space phenomena passing Earth. Lord, we pray for blessedness this uh, season. We're glad that maybe soon um, the coronavirus numbers will go down in Kansas and Missouri. We're situated right now in Missouri and Kansas, where Kansas City is. Um, schools are not taking place as usual. We're teaching at home on our Wi-Fi. We're teaching virtual classrooms. Uh, I had many today, and so I'm pretty exhausted. What are you up to? Why don't you guys share with me what you are thinking about this uh, Paschal Moon, or uh, we'll say Pink Moon, since in North America that's what it's called this time of year. The whole city is relatively quiet most of the day since um, at least 60% of the people don't go to work and kids don't go to school. It was up to 80 degrees though today, so um, a lot of people were out who shouldn't be, including kids up the street. It looks like a giant spotlight on the earth, doesn't it? The way this camera.
suppose. Like a giant Saturn. As I said, that's a uh, VA hospital, the largest one in this part of Kansas City. Um, some there have been some suicides in a parking lot there by veterans from the, all the wars. We pray for them too. So much trauma these days. Lord, help those people with trauma. Help the families with <sighs> victims of this virus and help heal us all and keep us safe. We pray for the people in Missouri and Kansas and California and New York and Philippines and uh, other corners of the globe, including Kuwait and Oman, where we've lived before. I welcome any thoughts you have on the pink moon, the Paschal moon. Let's turn the camera sideways just to give you a new perspective on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of miraculous, huh? To have that long ring around it. Meditate on it, guys. Pray. Not because the moon is holy, any or holier than the earth, but we can pray for our earth and this universe and what God's plans are for us on this universe, in this universe. This timescape. Paschal moon, the Paschal lamb, the pink moon. We've had a red moon, a blood moon last month, and a comet coming next month. Hmm, you think God's telling us something? We've got coronavirus here and there. But we've got family, and many of us are safe at staying home. 
praise the Lord for that. God bless you, 2020. Let's get have a better one soon.